What is up everybody? I am here. Thank you to Kyle for being my videographer yet again. I can't do it without him. We're here. We're here, he <laughs> says. I love it. And uh, we're going to show off an ambulance today. Um, and we're going to show it off with James... Williams. Williams. Yeah, go. yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to get all the information, all the details. This is his first build, DIY complete. So let's get after right now. Well, how, what's going on? I'm 24 years old and <laughs> young, always wanted to uh, do something like this my entire life. Started out with the tiny houses that are around here and like, then... Like building them? Um, no, just like wanting to like live in oh. a tiny house. So, like ever since I was in high school, like that's what I was doing. I was designing some of these out on CAD, stuff like that, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Then it was a bus, then it was a van. Never did any of those and I finally settled on the ambulance. And when I say settled, it's... Not a not a great word to use. I very much like looked around for what I wanted. And oh, really? This was it. Yeah. Okay. You know, figuring out like what's important to you. And did, did you? Sorry to interrupt, but did yeah. you go to shows? Did you like? Did you just watch a bunch of videos? Like how? how no, was that I, I got caught up in YouTube. Okay. Yeah. That's and fine. I, when I was really young, I always enjoyed this stuff. So. So you're 24. What was your background? What was you, did you go to college or anything? I did a semester of college. Um, I I was originally going for mechanical engineering, and then I switched to business, and then I dropped out halfway through. So what is the the chassis, what is the make model of said ambulance? So it's an F-350 pickup truck and just, I wanted the F-350 because you can find it pretty much anywhere. Yeah. It's got the 7.3 diesel, I had to look around to find the engine that I wanted, find it with under 100,000 miles and low idle hours. But it's also very easy to convert these to four wheel drive versus a van. Going to a junkyard, finding a wrecked F-350, it's bolt-on except for the end of the transmission. So, are, is that your plans? You're like, this is a two-wheel right now and I want to make it a 4 by 4 That's what I wanted to do. To be honest with you, I have more issues with clearance than I do with traction. Okay, that's um, fair. So why don't you just do a lift? That's probably what I'll be doing because I'm probably not going to stay in this thing for more than another year and a half. The lift and a little larger tire would just, it would balance this rig out really well. And you said it was the 7.3 diesel, which is one of the most sought out after, um, you know, engines there is for an Besides ambulance. Besides the 5.9 Cummins, yeah. Which they didn't didn't come in the ambulances for the most part. Really? Well, the 5.9 the, the, Cummins was more bus, right? Yeah, and it's in the medium duty trucks, but it's not in these lighter duty type 1 ambulances. And we're going to get to the outside a little bit later at the, towards the end. Okay. If you're comfortable with it. As I like to ask DIYers, and then I like to ask the pros the range of their pricing. Mm -hmm. But if you're comfortable sharing what you paid for yeah. said ambulance, and then maybe even with a build when you get inside. So yeah. what did you buy for it empty? So empty, standard ambulance, it was $9,000. That's a pretty good deal. 98,000 miles. I really want an ambulance now. All right, look, can we step inside? Yeah. Kyle, there's actually a seat in here. Uh, all right, so right behind you is your, your pup. Yep. Seven years old. He's looked like this since he was two, though. <laughs> He's oh, been really? an old man for a long time, yeah. He's awesome, dude. Um, I'm going to overlay a, a video that I took. I didn't know it was your dog, but I was catching the sunset the first night we were yeah, here. Yeah, you showed me. And uh, yeah, he was watching the sunset. And then I showed it to you the next day and you were like, yeah, he does this. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, uh, okay. So you did a really good job for a person that has never built inside of a rig. Thank you. I, um, I noticed all the little details, but it's come together pretty well. Um, first, right behind me, there's a pass-through. Was okay. that there? Yes, it was. So that's the, there's a fiberglass piece on the outside. And that's like, that's the way you can actually like walk through it. It lifts up the cab a little bit and then, yeah. Okay. I did change the pass-through, but it was originally. You passed. changed it? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, do you use it? A lot. Really? Yeah, especially for the dog. Um, what I usually do is like, if he's dirty, he's been in like the river or something. I just open the front door, he sits up there for like an hour, yeah. you know, cleans himself off before he's allowed inside. How tall are you? Because you're obviously taller than me and even Kyle, because Kyle's like 5'10", 11". 6'3", like so this doesn't particularly work out. Can I stand in here? I, mean, I don't even know. Oh, you're oh, right man, there. I'm right there. Yeah. Oh, man. Did you add any insulation to the floor or the ceiling? Floors R5, it's cellular, um, the pink stuff, this yep. closed cell phone board, and same up on the roof, that's R10, and walls are R10 as well. Wow. Wow, you did your research. This is an interesting layout. You don't see kind of this kind of layout in, in an ambulance, I don't think. But you went with your whole kitchen set up here. Mm -hmm. Do you sit while you cook or do you just yeah. punch over? 
I sit, there's sometimes where I have to stand. <coughs> Most of the time I'm using like an instant pot outside. A lot okay. of the times um, in the morning, like I'm always using a cooktop. The oven, do a lot of oven meals, make it really easy. What oven is this? Um, this is a Furion, it's just, you know, your basic three burner propane. There's a lot of different versions of them. Uh, so how much propane do you carry with you? I'm um, just one of the regular tanks you can get at the store. So what yeah. is it, like a 20 gallon? Yeah. Or not 20 gallon. 20 pound. Yeah. 20 pound. Uh, and I'm assuming that's your fridge. Fridge freezer. It's the Iceco. Which mm. you attach directly to your... Yeah, so what I did, um, because I kind of wanted it hidden and I didn't want to pull it out, what I decided to do is I actually took this off the hinge of this um, of the actual fridge and I Velcroed it to this nice. guy. So I can still take it out and yeah. adjust it and all that stuff if I need to. Has that shelf ever gone in your way? Like This one? Yeah, like because oh, you can't open it fully. So that's, um, I actually thought about like where this was going to be when I first got it. So this opens up plenty to be able right. to access it. Right. Else. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's totally fine. Yeah, I mean, there's there's some things that like I know it's like if the fridge ever failed, it's going to be a lot to get it out. Yeah. You know, I have to take off this whole top piece and then this guy, and then I should be able to pull it out. Fun times. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't fail. I've had it for a few years and it hasn't. So uh, You have a lot of GoPro mounts in there. I even see one in the back. <laughs> are, you, are you like an adventure seeker or like you just like like to live stream your life? Um, no, I've, um, I started doing some like YouTube and like social media stuff just kind of recently. I put a video up and okay. it did well. So I started kind of doing that and it, it made it easier instead of like trying to film yourself, just stick a GoPro mount on the wall and throw it in the corner. Not a bad idea. Power wise, you know, you cook with propane. So I'm assuming you don't have crazy amounts of power, but I could be wrong. Um, no, not crazy amounts. Um, 630 watts up on the roof and it's on a tilting axis. Yeah. So during the winter that helps a lot. And then 300 amp hours of batteries and a 3000 watt inverter. It's a low frequency inverter charger. It's all Ren G components. Yeah, yeah, cool. But it's, it's worked pretty well. Um, the original ambulance system was a lot initially. Mm. There's like the whole circuit board yep. that they had to tap into. Now, if I was ever to do it again, I'd just take it out because it's overly complex. So did you play with any of the ambulance, original ambulance watches? Because I've heard those are a disaster. Yeah. yeah, no, I did. Okay, so you read up on all that? Yeah, chased a lot of wires, figured out that um, there's no fuses in the system, there's auto resetting circuit breakers and the relays, and it's, yeah, there's a lot into it. So you got it for a low price tag, but there's a lot of work involved. There was the electrical, yeah. I just tear it out if I was to do it again. Okay. Because it'd be, I'd much rather just have a simple system, something that anyone could diagnose problems with or work on. So if I was there to sell it, you know, someone could just know exactly what's going on. Sure. But you're now sitting across from Kyle. This is a sitting, I'm assuming that's a table right there. Yeah. So I actually put the keyboard and mouse away, but this pulls out and then I have a monitor and then mouse keyboard and I can sit here and work. I usually grab that, um, this little guy over here and just put it behind my back and oh, makes okay. it comfortable enough. Yeah. So this is seating, working, this is everything. All yeah, on. pretty much. Okay. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. You sleep this way. Yeah. It's eight feet wide and I still have room for all my clothes and stuff behind me. Wow, so that's the benefit of really having a box ambulance. It's wide. Um, it can be tough sometimes going down trails. It's, uh, you got a lot of tree branches. That's actually why I painted it with the bed liner. Yep. But um, the width has been great on the inside. It's just trails and parking, all that fun stuff. Before I get to this, which is rad, because I'm assuming that's your heating system. One of them. Okay. Um, what was the cost of everything in here? Everything in here, I, I know I calculated everything together with the purchase price of nine grand for the truck. Okay, great. So there we go, 21 grand for everything else. 21 all said and done? Yeah. yeah. So you only spent 11 on the inside, give or take? No, 20, 21 on the inside. Oh, okay. So like 30 grand total into the truck. Oh, perfect. With, with the truck. Wow, so. you're good. Yeah, if I was to pay myself minimum wage, it'd probably be a hundred grand vehicle, but <laughs> I'd say it's probably about six months worth of like consistent work. Uh, and do, you, do you work on the road? I, I do, so it's an interesting story that I had a janitorial and facility maintenance business I'd built up for the last four years. Now my friend owns it, and I'm thinking about starting another like residential, uh, a residential service instead of a commercial service. That's really weird. It is really weird. Um, residential is a little bit more prime to be able to go remote with at a lower revenue number. Uh, Keeping my eyes open after this event, because this is all passion stuff out here. Yeah. With, uh, tiny houses and all it's that. It's great, right? It is. I just don't know anything about the industry. This is, you, you said this is one heating source. Is this also dual purpose? I see you have like a bunch of, you know, things over here that, does it like, do you cook eggs on top or? No, oh, I, okay. I mean, I can. Like yeah. I've like made like some like 
toasted some bagels and stuff up there but that's during the day i'd use that if it's cold uh -huh. like if i'm in here working so i don't use diesel but then i have the diesel heater right there tapped into the tank not tapped into the tank i didn't want it tapped into the tank so it was separate so tank i have a separate five gallon jug of a diesel with like another i think another five gallons on top of did you that. use the chinese diesel or did you use i did use the chinese diesel heater okay. and my third one has been great <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious is, yeah so the first one didn't work as soon as i got it the second one immediately plugged up and the third one has been doing great for like the last four months they're only like 200 a pop they were all warranted so, oh okay so i bought one and got three good i mean my man kyle over there he swears by it <laughs> it works great um yeah it has worked great i had it fail one time um with it getting plugged up and it was negative seven degrees out in twin lakes early march this year oh, and boy. that's why i have the you know the, the actual, backup yeah. yeah this is um it's hard to make one of these fail you know it's yeah, it's wood and air is, yeah so. i mean this will this will heat the space easily too it does yeah sometimes a little too much not when it's negative seven fair enough fair <laughs> enough so do you have both running and when it's that cold um, no, either one will do it. Yeah. It's just um, one thing that, like I, you know, you learn when you're doing this stuff is like, I have a instant propane propane um, hot water heater. It's on the outside, okay. So it's accessible like to the air. I need to find a way to insulate that. This heats the room really great, but then this whole garage area gets colder, and that's where my water systems are. What I don't see, and maybe they're in here, is mm -hmm. toilet and shower. The shower's probably in the back. It's all in there. It's just not done yet, so I closed it off for you know the event okay so you oh, can actually little room. there's a door on the outside that'd probably be easier since that's <coughs> pinned up but it's a shell right now okay can i open this uh it's pinned down oh, so yeah. it's there's like thumbtack it's not finished had any reason to finish it yeah because i just take the shower handle and shower outside you got one of those planet fitness memberships i haven't i've really I, yeah this is the first legit shower i had in like three months oh wow <laughs> okay i've been jumping in lakes and showering outside for a while. You got to do whatever you do to get Every by. morning at like 6 a.m. I was jumping into the lakes up there and 10,000 feet. It was fun. Oh, I'm sure that was a little chilly. Yeah. I, that's how you wake up. Cold plunge. Do you have, want to share anything else in here? Maybe like just cool little products or something that you've done that maybe nobody else has seen? Or... Um, I mean, the fridge is kind of unique. People like that. We got the pull-out table, which you guys have already seen. This stuff here is um, a little interesting. So I actually attach my propane to a solenoid. So it shuts it off from in one of the compartments. So I actually now use my stove. And then another thing that was kind of weird is I actually, um, my shower's all the way over here. Right? Yep. And my propane hot water heater's here. Yeah. So I waste about a gallon and a half of water before it gets hot out there. Wow, yeah. So there's another solenoid. Now the water's running through the whole system and looping all the way back to prime the hot water at the actual shower head. Okay. Hot water heater's not on, but that's what that does. Okay. Also, like if it gets really cold and I'm like a little worried about my pipes, I can run all my water through the hot water heater, which is nice. Oh, uh, that is nice. This is for the cell booster, and then this is just an empty switch. So you brought that up, you got a cell booster. That's mm -hmm. how you get a lot of work done on the road, but. No, it's not. I know. As soon as I got the Wii Boost, uh, Starlink came out. Yeah. And like I was one of the first guys to get Starlink. Starlink just works so much better. Than, yeah. Than when you're out in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. It, um, it does work nice. The cell booster does take less power, so there's that to consider. It's like I've used the cell booster in times when like there's been a lot of cloudy days and I just want to have less power draw. That's a great point because it, it does draw a lot of power. It's plugged into 120 volt. Cell booster's already there, but yeah. if you don't have cell phone service, because you, you you go out there apparently. <laughs> I do. Yeah. So if you're out there, it's, there's a good chance you're not going to have cell phone service. Yeah. Pretty much. The one thing is like with Starlink, it's taken like 50 to 70 watts. I think you're right about it, like cooling down a little bit after it gets gone. But then you have another 30 watts running from the inverter. I have a larger inverter. Something I realize is that the larger ones just have higher idle consumption. Yeah. So it takes some power just to run that for the full day. Wow. What what size inverter do you have? A 3,000 watt. Okay. Um, it's a low frequency inverter charger, so it's it's big, heavy. Yeah. All right, let's go to the outside. You can show off this uh, awesome paint job you did. Yeah. All so right. on the outside, I painted it just because I didn't want to have uh, it looking like an ambulance. Sure. I'm kind of from you know San Diego and Sanita's area. I like to park down by the beach if I can. Okay. It's nice to have it look good. People appreciate that. Are these all functioning? Yeah. Yeah. So um, this one here, 
This is a cut compartment, so you can see the top half for my bed. It's cut, but then all this is got jack stands, got motorcycle gear, that type of stuff stays in here. Hence the motorcycle gear? Deployable vehicle. I've had this thing since I was like 16. It's street legal. Well, because it, all it needs is the mirrors? Uh, mirrors and blinkers. It's got the headlight. So you can park up somewhere, you can take this out, you can go to the grocery store, you can do whatever you need to do. Exactly. I like to park the rig for two weeks at a time and just don't even turn the truck on and take this into town, get groceries, go explore. Now, stuff. I'm not going to get up there with you, but you're welcome to get up there and show me that roof deck. Yeah, yeah, I haven't, um, I'll I haven't get some closed up the solar. Now, do you have to be up on the roof? You're, you're mic'd up, so you're going to hear us? Yeah. Um, do you have to be on the roof to tilt the solar, or is it? Yeah, it's yeah. a it's a very manual system. Okay, so that's actually a great idea because you know it's less of a failing point, I guess, right? Yeah. So there's three hinges on this side, and then there's an actual subframe that holds all the panels together. But I can just basically put a stick in here, tie it down for the wind, and then I keep my surfboard, fishing poles, all that type of stuff underneath the panels. So it acts as like even a cover too. It's storage for my surfboards, yeah. Nice. Also up front, you probably can't really see it from here, the overhang has a lot of storage as well. Does it really? Yeah, do you not see that? Who did this rack? I did. You Are you a welder? <laughs> I, I uh, did a little welding in high school, so I picked it back up. Okay. Is that all steel or any aluminum? No, this is steel. I don't have a spool gun for my welder, so. Yeah. Do you know how to weld aluminum? Never done it, but I could learn. I just know it's a lot more about cleaning it's a lot yeah. easier to get porosity in the welds. So there's some big bends in here. I also um, keep some extra gasoline up here for the uh, dirt bike. Is that legal? <laughs> to keep it up here? Yeah. I don't see why not. The only thing is, uh, with if the fire's gone, I, I move this out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Something I didn't think about till later. All right. <laughs> Good point. Even in your overall cost, a paint job was even included on that? Or you did yeah. it yourself? No, I. No one else has touched this vehicle besides me. Wow, good for you. I kind of wish someone else did at some point because removing the decals and sanding and yeah. all that stuff, it was, it was a lot. So it's funny because you deleted the lights and you put speakers in there. Yeah, you know. <laughs> we have to delete I, the lights. Y yeah, I actually, uh, what I did is I, I got these plates cut out and designed them on CAD and then fit them for speakers. And originally there are floodlights here. I moved the wiring over, so now this is a floodlight, and this is actually an emergency light, okay. but it's, um, it's amber colored. Yeah, I saw you running it during the show. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta have something they, they to- They just flash uh, yellow, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You already put this up, I don't really want to take it all down, but that's your storage. Yeah, actually you can take a look in here really easy. All right. So what I do is I just tilt the bike over, and then- Okay, you can do that. Yeah. And then this is all just, it's very much a garage. Yeah. You got a water filtration system? Yep. Is and that plumbed in now or is it not yet? No, I, I, this will never be plumbed in. It's, You're just going to get rid of it? I use it to filter water before it ever goes into the system. Oh, okay. And so then, you use it as like an inline. Exactly. And if I was to do another rig, I'd go ahead and do a pre-filter before that and then a UV system after this. This, is, this has quite a bit of um, filtering capabilities. Right. And, even with this, I still pull out of lakes and stuff out here in Colorado. Awesome, dude. Yeah, I got a little sump pump in here that I use and throw it in the lake and fill up. I, don't, I think we covered a lot, man. I would love to have you share your information. You know, you said you're trying to start YouTube and yeah, um, you're trying to go that route. And uh, you're obviously an intelligent human, so good for you. Thank uh, you. 24 sure. years old. I wish I you know, had, a, had this head on my shoulder. <laughs> I was out partying a little too much. Kyle, what do you think? Yeah. I mean, you don't know me back then, but... Oh, I learned my lesson by 19. Yeah. You were what? I learned my lesson by 19 and figured do something a little different. Do something more productive? <laughs> do something more productive, yeah. Um, so, yeah, share, share your information, please. Yeah, um, pretty much um, Instagram, Facebook, any of those platforms, it's James Williams Ventures, and the same thing for YouTube. It's just awesome. James Williams Ventures. James Williams Ventures. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, you said YouTube as well? Yeah, I'm... Um, it, I'm kind of just starting with all this stuff, so just learning. But um, well, you figured yeah. this out. You should be able to figure that out. Yeah, I'd almost love to do another build and actually document the process of building it because it was a join the club because really that's what everybody does. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, maybe people would love to see it. Maybe like see your mind just in your your gears kind of turn, and and why not, right? Yeah, the ambulances are unique when they're fully built out. You know, there's a lot of them out there, but 
I don't think a lot of people actually fully build them out because they're so easy to just live in as soon as you buy them. Sure. You know, a lot of people do that. I love it, man. Well, hopefully you do a four by four conversion and maybe you'll put, document that, you know, maybe a lift. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to uh, decide between super singles and keeping the dualies. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, uh, follow him, James Williams Ventures, and uh, thank you again for tuning in. Kyle can't thank you enough, obviously. Any words of wisdom you want to say, or Kyle, for that matter, you want to you want to drop you want to drop your two cents in there? No, oh, good. <laughs> if you want to do it, just get out on the road in your car for a couple months and just go enjoy it. Then, Is that what you then did? build something. Yeah, I traveled out of a Geo Metro for like three months. Smallest wow. production car ever in the US. Geo Metro. <laughs> if anybody wants to look, well, know what that looks like, look it up. It's, My uh, dirt bike has more power. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> uh, six months was six months too long in that. Wow. Uh, all right, guys, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, cool.